You know, part of the responsibility of being an elected official, from school board trustee to county sheriff to state lawmaker, is you're expected to use taxpayer money wisely. We should all expect that since it's all of our money they are working with, despite having more than a billion dollar surplus right now to work with here in the state of Idaho. And the beauty of it is we can see where all of it is spent right down to the penny. Governmental agencies and elected officials are required by law to outline a budget, get that budget approved, and then stick to it. If they don't, well, we usually learn about it in the name of transparency. Well, something has been happening with the lieutenant governor's budget lately that has been a continual talking point and has a lot of people asking questions. It began with a lost lawsuit and covering those fines and court costs from her $205,000 budget, which left her without enough money to pay staff and taking home a final paycheck of the last fiscal year of just $20.20 and leaving 72 cents in her office budget. Well, that last fiscal year ended the first of this month. And it seems the lieutenant governor is making up for lost money. Public records show Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan gave a significant pay bump to the only person left on her staff, Michelle Hamilton, and she gave her the title of Director of Strategy and Constituent Services. We're talking 30,000 more than her last full-time employee for a lame duck role. Thus the questions, is this raise abnormal? Is it legal? Here's Chief Political Reporter Joe Paris with some answers. The lieutenant governor position in Idaho is technically a part-time position. Last fiscal year, Janice McGeehan made about $48,000. Under state code, the lieutenant governor can only make 35% of what the governor makes. But there's nothing in Idaho code that says her staff can't earn more than she does. Financial information obtained through public records show that McGeehan gave a $57,000 raise to her only employee, Michelle Hamilton. Hamilton was previously a part-time employee. She had her hourly wage go from $20 an hour to about $37 an hour, or about $77,000 for a year. Her title also changed. Hamilton is now officially listed in state records as the Director of Strategy and Constituent Services for the Lieutenant Governor's Office. For perspective, McGeehan's former Chief of Staff was paid about $47,000 a year. He resigned back in March of this year as the lieutenant governor's office worked to balance their budget after unexpected court costs in their battle with the Idaho Press Club over releasing public records. We reached out to Lieutenant Governor McGeehan to ask if that position comes with expanded responsibilities compared to the previous chief of staff, but no response just yet. The raise also prompts questions as to why Hamilton got the raise and who approved the amount. So how does the budget for a constitutional officer like the lieutenant governor work? A spokesperson for the Idaho Division of Financial Management tells us that, quote, constitutional officers are afforded discretion in hiring and salary decisions, meaning neither DFM nor the Division of Human Resources are required to approve personnel decisions from the lieutenant governor's office. The Idaho legislature approved $205,000 for the 2022-2023 fiscal year budget for the lieutenant governor's office. That runs from July 1st to June 30th. How the lieutenant governor spends that money is basically up to her, as outlined in state code, Title 67, Chapter 8. The only current limitation for the office when it comes to hiring and pay is the cap of three full-time positions. Only one is filled right now. An intricacy here is that McGeehan's budget will roll over into the hands of the new lieutenant governor in January. That winner will be determined in the November general election. Hypothetically, if McGeehan does draw too much from the lieutenant governor's budget, the incoming lieutenant governor would inherit any possible issues. There are also questions about the relationship between McGeehan and Hamilton. Critics argue the raise is a reward for a close political ally and friend. Supporters say those circumstances are irrelevant to the position. Hamilton, working in the background here during a KTVB interview with McGeehan, is the first vice chairman of the Idaho Republican Party and seeking a second term. We reached out to McGeehan and stopped by her office to ask about the raise and the criticisms behind the use of taxpayer funds. No response yet, but McGeehan did take to social media to address the story. She writes, quote, Once again, we see the establishment politicians and the media up to their old tricks. They told you my office budget wasn't balanced, but it was. Now they're trying to manufacture a controversy about my staffing for the remainder of the year. But why bring it up this week? 
So let's talk some intricacies here. The reality is that it's very unlikely that the full amount, amount Hamilton is slated to earn will actually be paid out because McGeehan only has through the end of the calendar year to serve as the lieutenant governor. She didn't run for another term. Instead, she ran for governor, which she did lose to current governor Brad Little in the May primary. Now, the budget can be fixed if there are any problems next year. When lawmakers get back to Boise in January, JFAC, which is the budgeting committee at the State House, they can request and consider some mid-year supplemental appropriations if an office asks for one and says we need more money. They consider that. Doesn't mean it's going to be a yes or a no. Now, it's hard to say for now if that will be needed. Another implication was made by the lieutenant governor saying that the press and critical politicians of her work are working to impact Hamilton's run for another term as the first vice chairman of the Idaho Republican Party. Brian, there's a big weekend coming up in Idaho Falls. The Idaho GOP is going to have uh, their, their big conference, as they do every summer. And part of that is they're going to be deciding who's going to be the leadership uh, within the Idaho Republican Party. We know that there's a divide in, within the Republican Party between what you would say more modern moderate Republicans and more, I guess, far right would be the, 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 the name that is popular these days. Sure. But at the bottom line here is that if there is a problem with the lieutenant governor's budget rolling into next year, whoever the lieutenant governor is next year will have to deal with that. However, you also could argue from the lieutenant governor's perspective that instead of having three employees splitting $77,000, yeah. she just has one employee getting that money. Um, the questions, though, still continue about her relationship with Hamilton. Yeah. And we'd love to talk to the lieutenant governor. So as we say here on the 208, if you're watching lieutenant governor, we'd love to talk to you about this. Love to hear from you. Yes. And it's also interesting to point out that uh, this weekend you're talking about in Twin Falls. There's that question. But it could be when she says, why are we talking about this week? It could be that, well, maybe the fiscal year just started. 13 or 10 days ago, yeah. 12 days ago, just timing how it works out. All right, thank you very much, Joe.